Hello, how to solve for s in this equation? s to the power of t is equal to 4 to the power of t the solution. We have s to the power of t is equal to 4 to the power of t. Now let's take this to this side. We have s to the power of t minus 4 to the power of t is equal to 0. Now take note of this that if you have a to the power of t minus b to the power of t, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square. Then here where a is equal to s, b equal to 4. Now we have s minus 4 bracket s square plus 4 multiplied by s plus 4 square is equal to 0. Then here is s minus 4 bracket s square plus 4 multiplied by s. This is 4s plus 4 square that is 16 is equal to 0. Now here there are two cases here. The first case is s minus 4 is equal to 0 and the second case is s square plus 4s plus 16 is equal to 0. Then from this side s is equal to 4. This is the first value of s. Let's call this s1. And from here this is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then from this equation a is equal to 1, b equal to 4, c equal to 16. Now s is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 multiplied by a1 multiplied by c that is 16 over 2 multiplied by 1. Then s is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 16 that is 64. Over 2 times 1, that is 2. Then, S is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 64. That will be 50. That is minus 58 over 2. Therefore, S is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 58 multiplied by minus 1 over 2. And then S is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 1 is I then root 58 over 2. Therefore, S2 is equal to minus 4 plus I square root of 58 over 2. And S3 is equal to minus 4 minus I square root of 58 over 2. Our final answers are, we have S1 to be equal to 4, then S2 is equal to minus 4 plus I root 58 over 2, 
um, std is equal to minus 4 minus i root 58 over 2. You can see that here we have two complex root. Complex root. And here is the only real root we have. Oh, we can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have s to the power of 3 is equal to 4 to the power of 3. And of course, it's very clear from here. Then, when s is equal to 4, because we can only check using this real root, that is, s is equal to 4. Then we have the left hand side, 4 to the power of 3 is equal to the right hand side, 4 to the power of 3, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.